Previously on Franchise Hockey Manager 10. So I've done some thinking since the previous episode. And my contract is due up in a few months' time. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to renew it. I know the game will automatically do it for me, but I'm going to resign at that point. I think, given just given what I saw in the last episode, it's... Oh, it broke my heart. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. If another job comes up in the meantime, obviously we will seriously consider it. But I think... From a realism standpoint, I think I think I need to move on from Regina, Regina, whatever you want to call them. But I think it's going to be time to move on. We do have the last game, I believe it is, of 2026, which is against the Wee Kings. So we're going to play that. And I think we will have a look at the first international game because I uh, decided to be coach of the Great Britain under 20s a while ago. And it's going to be their first game. So I think that's today's plan. Let's see how we do. So with that win out of the way, that puts us at 13th place in the league, which is pretty much where we were around about this time and even towards the end of the season last year. 34 games played, 15 wins, 14 losses and 3 overtime wins. We are looking at 33 points. We are kind of on the bubble of falling below that playoff line. Couple of losses, couple of wins from the other team. We're going to drop below it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward to, I think it's the 17th, let's have a look, 14th of January. We're going to play the first game as the UK under 20s. That is unless I get a job offer in the meantime, in which case we might be back a little bit sooner. So it's nice to see that the owner still has my back at least. But another confidence update. So Mark Warren is satisfied with the team's performance this season. We're in a rebuilding process. Taking a longer view, we're not expecting to be a serious contender next season, but we're not planning on a total rebuild afterwards. The fans are very unhappy, and many view me as the problem. And we agree with that the approach that you've taken with the team is the correct one. So that's nice. The owners have got my back. Fans absolutely hate me. But as I said at the very beginning, I'm just, oh, it's just it's the goalies just sitting there and just, they, they didn't even, they didn't even go for it. Just watched it sail past like they were just on their phone or something. Anyway, let's move on. As I make my way to the international games, things just keep bringing me back. Um, for instance, at the moment, we're, um, we're doing fairly well. We're on a five game winning streak. Nothing's changed, but 
all of a sudden, after a, a, well, over a month of not winning anything, we've just started winning again, which is nice. It's very, very nice. Um, however, the team themselves, I think, are starting to fall apart. They're coming off for just random reasons. I mean, Braden Smith, he's off with a sore back. Again, he just goes off for a sore back or a bruised finger. If we have a look at Rollinson, he's got a bruised thumb. I don't know what he's thinking. It's a bruised thumb. We've got Nilsson. He's got a tight back. You're, you're teenagers. You're young. Work your way through it. I'm beginning to think the game might actually be listening to me. I think it heard the fact that I was going to put my notice in with Regina. Um, and it's put us on a bit of a winning streak. We've just finished up the game against the Blazers. Top of the league, the Blazers. And we just won. 5-1. I, 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 I don't even know what to say about it. They had an absolutely shocking game. It was only Max Finley that had a good one. The rest of them, terrible. Ours, yeah, we did extremely well. Um, I, I, I don't know how to, I don't know what to put it down to. Is, is, is franchise hockey manager listening to me? Is that what it's doing? It's, it's weird. It's very, very weird. All right, so January 14th has rolled around. We have our first game in charge of the Great Britain under-20s. And to say we have our work cut out for us is probably a bit of an understatement. If we have a look at the roster of possible players for me to choose from, and then we have a look at the most able, I mean, we're not, we're not looking at much here, are we? A lot of half-star players. I've managed to build a roster. If we go into the roster, I'll uh, Kevin Thies of the Eastern US High School is our best player. If we compare him to, I don't know, Brennan, no, let's have a look. Yeah, Brennan Brown. Let's compare him to Brennan Brown. Where is he on this list? Stare me right in the face here somewhere. He's a left winger. There we go. So he is five stars. He is literally leagues above our best player. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how we get on. What a game. I think, is it worth now just resigning from the under 20s team and then being undefeated internationally? Um, not only undefeated, but we absolutely trounced them. They got two back in the end, but well, to be honest, I think we just took the foot off the gas a little bit. Um, what I did notice as well though, is Bellamy, my little boy Bellamy from all the way back in Hull. He's on there. Admittedly at the worst game of the entire team. With a 48 there. 
I mean, there's a couple other 48s, but they're... Oh, actually, no, I'll take that back. Mella had a bad game, but... Bellamy. How old are you now? Oh, you're 18. He was 15 when I found him originally. He's 18 now. He's playing with Coventry Blaze. So he's up into the Elite Ice Hockey League as well now. Um, what, what have you been doing with yourself? What's our quick ganders? Yeah, so he looked like he was going to go in the mock CHL draft. He got signed to the Islanders. Got released about a year afterwards. Won the gold medal last year. Nice. Um, and yeah, only a few months back, he got picked up by the Coventry Blaze. Um, oh, and that face, though. <laughs> he's still got such a little baby face. But anyway, I think we're going to leave the episode there. It's it's been it's been interesting. Yeah, started it absolutely broken hearted by how the team were doing. Went on an absolute tear in spree. We've got was it eight in a row now? We, uh, nine potentially if we include this one. But. Uh, yeah, let's leave it there. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.